the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Pardon me? Okay. First item on the agenda is the joint meeting of the local school committee in regard to Jill Filon. It's all yours. Oh, okay. Well, hi. Thank you for volunteering. Um, this should be quick. Just have a couple questions. Um, I guess why do you want to why do you want to do this? Um, it's something I've been interested in since we came to the past. I've always sort of been interested in getting involved. My daughter was starting kindergarten in March next year, so I just thought it was probably a good time um, when with the opening. Mm -hmm. um, Does your family have any history in town politics? <laughs> <laughs> My husband's family does, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Is there any further question or comment? I think so. <clears throat> Move to approve, assuming is this a joint vote? Or? Um, well, it has to be roll call votes, I think, on each committee. Okay. If you guys want to take a vote, we'll take a vote. And so. <clears throat> well, I move to accept the appointment until next May of Jill Thielen. Second it. Okay, any comment? <clears throat> Debate? Uh, all in favor? Uh -huh. uh, Dodd's aye. Blanchard aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay. Up to you. I move to accept uh, Jill's appointment. So be it. Welcome. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Hello, <laughs> oh, we love having you. Bye bye. Okay, second thing on the agenda is executive session. Executive session for the town accountant contract. MGL, Chapter 30A, Section 21 3. Oh, uh, you do, Phil. Yeah, yeah, he's got to leave. Oh, wait a minute. Um, yeah, you don't, Phil. We've okay. recorded. Well, I'll stop, brother. Right. Two things come up. Is it still turning? Yes. Come on in, Amanda. No, it's not turning. Okay. Do I check this? Sure. This out. Are we? I haven't seen you in weeks. Right. I'm sure they'll be back again. They just keep selling lots. So. 61A is popular. Well, of course, the guns had the farm. Sure. So that's, yeah, they subdivided one side and split into six lots, five lots. Mm -hmm. I think it's something they would do the other side, too. There was that old song, how are you going to keep them down on the farm now that they've seen Perry, now that they've seen 61. Hey, how are you going to keep them down on the farm? Uh, well, they're downsizing. They still have yeah. the other side of the street. True. Continue the farm. Mm -hmm. Are we on? Oops. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Good. Okay. Doug, over to you. Sir. Okay. Okay. Chapter 61A, Decision of Town Option, Change in Use of Classified Land. Uh, through the Board of Selectmen, blah, 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 Notice of Intent to Sell or Convert to Some Other Use. Land classified as 61A, Land and Taxed under the Provisions of 61 of the General Laws. Uh, name of Record Holder, George Gunn and Candace Gunn. Um, it's approximately 1.45 acres of land located on Pleasant Street, identified on the assessor's maps 
20, lot 55, lot 4 on plan, dated 12-13-210. Under said chapter 61, the town has an option to purchase said land intended to be sold and are converted to other use. Uh, this is to inform you that the board of select have not yet exercised the, uh, uh, the voted to not exercise. Right, right. right. What is the wishes of the board? <clears throat> well, just one thing. I'm sure there's more than five acres that's still remaining on the other side of the yes. street. Because yes. as you know, in 61A, you have to leave Thank a certain amount. Right, it has to be five in addition to any house lot that you have. And yes, there is still remaining on the other side of the street because they started with, I believe it was 45 acres. Mm -hmm. um, and so at this point, I believe they've sold a little less than half. Okay, good. So <clears throat> with that, I move that we vote to not accept our right of, or to rather, do not exercise our right of first refusal. Is there a second? Or to exercise. Is it positive or negative? I believe you vote to not exercise. Not to not exercise our option, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Second. Okay. Any further debate? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. That was it should be the first one. Is your dad still in California? He's not. He is back. Oh, okay. He is back. He will be back again, though, as long as my brothers are out there. Sure. Where's all your chickens? We haven't seen them. They're locked up for the winter. I thought maybe the coyotes got them. No, no, no. Randy keeps them locked up for the winter, but he's already hatched out 10 more for the spring. So. Oh, boy. Good. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. Nice to see you. Uh, Good to see you, man. Day. Take care. We had coyotes in our yard last night. Howling. Oh, yep. We hear them crossing our property. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. Okay. Uh, so we don't get first refusal. We do have we the do right, we just, right we didn't we do it. We waived yep. the right to exercise that option. Does that mean somebody else? No, that means they can sell it to the highest bidder, whoever right. they want. Mm -hmm. okay. it. Well, we've got a few minutes. Why don't we do the payroll warrant because the uh, police people are not here? <clears throat> yeah, he's outside in the hall. We oh, have um, payroll warrants. We don't have a payroll warrant tonight, but we do have a bill warrant. Mm -hmm. Yep. W1135. Our bill warrant is W1135 for $1,293,900. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. What are the wishes of the Move to approve. Move. Is there a second? Second. Any further debate? All in favor? Aye. Against? So be it. <clears throat> No P PCFs or PRFs. <clears throat> uh. Thank you. I think, no, that's not it. That's different. That's different. Jess, did you sign this? Nope, but I will. <coughs> that's <later. coughs> What did Robert Dickens say? Bob is out in the hall. Yeah. So so, you want to go back into executive session? Okay, good. You want to bring him in? So, yeah. let's go back into executive session. So, I've got to turn this off. Put it in. Can you put the same tape back in? Can I put the same uh, executive session tape? Yeah. Are you back in executive now? Yeah. To normal session? <clears throat> we actually did that, sort of. We went out of the Okay, good. Yeah. We're still in. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're here for the uh, signing of the contract with the uh, police union and the town of Southampton. Well, Mr. Chair, with all due respect, given the amount of back and forth and the concessions and the hard work on both sides, I move that we accept the agreement as presented to us between the town and the International Brotherhood of Police Officers. Second that. Good. Any debate? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Okay. Uh, this is uh,
copy of that. Schedule B to go with that document. Okay. <coughs> Just put your name in as a clerk instead of vice chair. Mm -hmm. So do we have one copy of that? Yeah. Yeah, once it's signed up, we'll make additional copies. One for the select board's <coughs> office and then uh, our copy. Of okay. Copy for myself. There we go. Mm -hmm. This goes here, this goes here, the pin goes back. All right. Okay. Deal. Yeah. 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 Third turn. You've got to sign also, Jess. No place for me. Yes, sir. Vice chair. It's not the regular signature page. No. Unless I'm the acting vice chair. Mm -hmm. okay. No, just put it right in there somewhere. <clears throat> okay, I'll sign anyway, even though. Well, they need a form. Mm -hmm. Comes with a pen, too. Oh, I thought it was that. I brought it. Well, she was here. I'm trying to write right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. A pleasure doing business with you, gentlemen, as usual. We are all set. <clears throat> yes, sir. We're all set 100%. Yeah, nothing yes, further. Sir. Can I go back and help me discuss the dispatch? Right. Good. Yep. Yes, sir. Very good. I'll make copies of that for everybody. That we Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We move to that letter. Yes. Okay. You have the letter. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Good. <clears throat> so this is the comment. Um, okay, so you want me to read it? Please don't. <clears throat> it's a letter addressed to Mr. Robert Dixon, National Representative, IBPO. Uh, this letter shall serve as notification to you that pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 150E and 456 of the Code of Massachusetts Register, 11.04.14.065, the Town of Southampton hereby recognizes the International Brotherhood of Police Officers as the exclusive representative for the purpose of collective bargaining for all of the employees in the unit described below, such as or as described as all full-time dispatchers of the Southampton Police Department, excluding all confidential, managerial, and casual employees and all other town employees. Thank you for your attention to this matter. It will be signed by the Chair of the Board of Selectmen. What is a casual employee? Below X amount of hours? Casual. Temporary. 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 Yeah, you can be considered a permanent part-time Maybe a casual, casual that are on call. Okay. Maybe you made five hours a week, maybe ten, maybe nothing for three weeks. So. Yep. That's all right. Very good. There are no permanent part timers, so I usually I put usually put those into the clock, but none exist right now. But if they do, I would look to modify it to include the permanent part timers. Never get casuals. Mm-hmm. Can't negotiate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I'm going to do with that? I, I have a, a contract drawn up. We basically mirror the police in the room right now, so you can see police officer and put dispatcher in. 
Jesse's back. We're going to start going over uh, Jeremy's back. And we're going to start going over next week. Then we'll get it through. But I'm going to try to mirror the other contract the best I can. Mm-hmm. So, do you sign in his stead? Mike? <coughs> Douglas. Acting. Yep. Acting chair. Okay, do I hear a motion for me to sign this? So moved. Second? Yeah, I'll second it. Just a couple of questions here. Just a oh. little well, discussion now. Sure. Bob, just um, this may be in, call it informal or whatever. What, um, <coughs> with respect to collective okay. bargaining, as you know, that's a lot in the news these days. What, what's your read on that? Um, Collective bargaining as a tool, if you will, yeah. for negotiations between, call it management and labor. Yeah. Don't mean that in any disparaging way. What do you see going forward? Well, I think the best process for that, I think, you know, it's take both sides. It's supposed to take the politics on both sides. People aren't hired because of politics, or who they know, people don't get fired, who they know, who they don't know, things like that. I think that's still the best way to go. And then, me the minds as to with who went through the police issue, trying to negotiate something that's fair to both sides. And both sides can walk away equally unhappy or equally happy and a good deal. One side walks away saying, you know, we got everything we want, the other side walks away really infuriated in the process, then the process didn't work properly. But I don't see what's going on out in Wisconsin and some of the other communities right now. Um, I don't see those as being something that's going to sweep the nation. I, First of all, I know what the arguments are out there. I think in Wisconsin, public employees, they don't pay into the retirement system and they don't pay for health insurance. And the governor said they better pay something. They're just inordinate debt. Somehow we've got to correct this without laying that on top of the taxpayers. There's got to be a balance of things, and I think that's going to work itself out. But and they are apparently willing to, to do that. Right. And the, the other problem is, or Apart from the union with this and he's being anti-union. He wants to take out the clause in there that says you have to pay union dues. Because that way the union dues that money sometimes to fund candidates, which are right now the party on the outs and they don't want to run. But you know, if you don't do that, I mean take all the money out of politics. I don't want any any uh, pharmaceutical industry paying congressmen mm-hmm. just to keep the price of this up, oil yeah. companies paying congressmen to keep the price of oil up. But, I have an electric house, so oil companies are charging about three thousand or something a barrel for a gallon for oil. Home heating fuel, Northeast. You know, if you're gonna take the rights away from some, take away from everybody. Just keep the playing field up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. Thanks. That was just a you know a very broad question, but I appreciate your answer. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Keeps me employed. Yeah. Okay. We've got a motion. Design and we have a second and we have discussion. Is there any further discussion? What's the motion? <coughs> Just to recognize. Well, to recognize the bargaining unit. Yeah. As the bargaining agent for the uh, dispatchers and so forth. Mm-hmm. Any further discussion? Mm-hmm. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? <coughs> so moved. Very timely discussion. Okay. In our small Stockhampton town, this is a very timely discussion on collective bargaining. So, it's a big topic. Okay. Then we all sat down and send me a copy. Of yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to find Thank you, gentlemen. I'll make copies right now. Thank you very much. See you later. Should be one in Diana's office, Diana and Reggie. The, the break room? Yeah. The, oh, sorry, the break room. The next one down on the left. Okay, open time for the public. No comment. Approval of minutes. Do we have any minutes here? No? No? Okay, we, uh, we already took care of a uh, letter to Robert Dickinson, a police uh, dispatchers union. We took care of the police union contract. Uh, town administrator's report. There's no report. Town, no town administrator. Other business and announcements. Announcements. Uh, upcoming events and meetings on March the 4th. 
in the 8th and the 22nd select board meeting room on main floor at new town hall 210 college highway mm -hmm. uh, action list <clears throat> Well, that should be on the back here, but there's pending items. Pending items. Hmm. Okay, does anybody have anything to add to this? Or comment? Do we know any, any more how the different um, patching and... Yes, I have a report on that uh, under issues. two non uh, updates, yes. Okay. okay. How about uh, charter communications? Scheduled charter hearing scheduled for 315 to 11. <clears throat> so we have that. Okay. So that meeting is the in between, is the meeting not listed up here. Right. I mean, we have a meeting each week. Yes. Yeah. We're going to become very popular soon. Yeah. Well, Timber we'll cutting plan. Uh, review to sign <coughs> Hoyok Waterworks. Original in the signature folder. Right here. Okay, uh, to the town of Southampton, this is a permit for timber cutting uh, to Bay State Forestry Service, uh, Ethel Mass, a project location is the city of Boyoke Land on Fulmer Road, uh, <coughs> record of assessors, maps and lots, map 10, lot 2, uh, abutters of the property, Project property must be notified before work can be commenced. Demudding of trucks before entering on public way. Consult with highway superintendent 48 hours in advance before start uh, trucking logs out. Any staging area abutting public road should be approved by highway super. Any damage done to the public roads or right of way shall be repaired at the expense of the truck company or landowner. The logging company shall produce to the uh, highway superintendent proof of insurance liability coverage in the amount of $500,000 to $1 million. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Did we have everything here? Permit. The forest cutting plan. Entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Well, I'll second that. But I would like to say I think this is a start. This <clears throat> changed language here. I like the idea that they're required to get 48 hours notice to the highway superintendent. Mm -hmm. Additionally, required to show proof of insurance and to demud um, their right. trucks before going out onto the road. This gives us some leverage, if you will, over these people who tend to abuse the, the roads and some knowledge as to what's going on before they're doing it. Right. right. And should they not grant this, we at least have some right. something to fall back on. And didn't we get some feedback a couple of meetings ago that this is mm -hmm. this new process has been working? Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, Mr. Collins. Yeah, Mr. Collins. Yep. Okay. Said that contacts are being made and so any further discussion? Positive. Okay, um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? So move. Oh, yeah. Let's go for 815. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, new town hall updates. <coughs> this is the update of the new town hall, the problems that are occurring now. The elevator is currently out of order, and we called Bay State Elevator to repair for the second time. This morning there was no heat in the building. 
problem with the boilers, the monitoring company inspected from the computer side, uh, everything was okay with the exception someone touched the panels. Another person is coming out tomorrow to look at the system to ensure our boilers are working properly. A sprinkler head broke outside the vestibule in the console the agent. This is the second time. Called Cogswell, uh, temporarily repaired. They stated the vestibule is not insulated properly. Not enough heat is getting into the vestibule. Could be a design flaw and future prevention by placing a grate, a vented grate, and installing a thermostat to control heat in that area. At this point, not enough heat is getting into the vestibule. The thermostat is in the large room, and with fire code, the doors are to be remain closed. Therefore, they can't monitor the temperature in the vestibule. Uh, the front doors are both sticking. Residents and have employees are having a hard time entering the building. Water stained ceiling tiles to be replaced, one in the workroom, approximately 11 tiles in the vestibule, tiles in storage of the console the agent. Workroom door, punch lock has not been repaired. Console the agent floor, at this point, unsure of the status. Workroom sink, at this point, unsure of status. Console the agent appliances, at this point, unsure of status. I know on the appliances in the console the aging, we don't wish to install those until all of their work has been done satisfactorily. Uh, this way, nobody can say it was the people from the town <coughs> when they installed these appliances that hurt anything. Okay, is there any further comment on this? Just that it's good to see that we have a checklist of those things. You would expect this in a building like this, a renovated building. Well, some of these things obviously are significant. Nonetheless, we are we have them out here in plain sight. Nobody's hiding anything, and that we are taking specific action and steps to correct these. We have a owner's engineer working on our side as well. Yep, and so, the, uh, that's how you have to do it with buildings. That's the way it is. The building reuse committee is on top of this. Uh, we should be meeting very soon, and I'm sure all of this is being addressed. Not mm -hmm. as quickly as we would hope, but it is being addressed. Right. So that's good to see. Yep. Okay, good. Um, security punch list, etc. Nothing on that. Uh, building reuse committee. We should be meeting very <coughs> shortly, and we can uh, address all of these things as a, uh, a building reuse committee. Anything more on the council on aging in terms of <coughs> March fifteenth is the return date. Is it okay? Thank you. Okay, next item on the agenda, we see the contract, that's done. We're all the way over done. to the fire chief. Done. Thanks, Dave. Here's the original signed yeah. document. Okay, board. thank you. Thank you. Take care. Okay. okay, is there anything further on the fire chief? Let's ask your executive session. Is he going to be here at 8.30? That's a good question. Um, well, I think we might want to have everybody here. To weigh in on that? I would think. Yeah. Okay, is there a motion to adjourn? Um, I, so I move, but I would request that somebody contact the fire chief to let him know that we'd like to hold off. Then we'll do that. Okay. Is there a second? Sorry? Second. David, he's on the agenda for 8.30 for executive session, but we're not all here. Okay. And we don't know if he's here yet. So we don't know if he's planning to come here or not. But is that about the contract? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've got a uh, a motion to adjourn. Second. A second. Okay. Any Aye. discussion? None for me. All oh, in favor? Good. Good meeting. Aye. Have a Thank you for the record. Five after eight.